Hi, I'm Mark Conahan, Senior Product Specialist at Sensible Technologies. I'll be demonstrating Freeform Modeling Plus version 8, and I'll be building a simple hair dryer. I'm just going to begin uh, by explaining the tools that I'm using uh, to be able to work in Freeform Modeling Plus system. Uh, uh, as I work on any of the uh, forms that I've created, or that I am creating, I can use a sense of touch with a phantom desktop device. Uh, as you can see on the screen, I can actually touch the uh, model, in this case the clay that forms the handle of this hair dryer, and uh, using force feedback I can tell something more about the shape than just what I see. In this case, uh, I can use a variety of different sculpting tools that, as I work on it, will tell me information about the, the shape that I'm actually carving. So I'm creating just a slot in the side of this here, and as I've created that, I can feel the ridges that I've formed just along the side, and it tells me something more about the form that I'm building. Besides being able to actually directly interact with the model by uh, touching it, I can use the Phantom to be able to manipulate the view of the item. Uh, in this case, I'm holding the G key on the uh, keyboard, or the J key, which let me uh, manipulate the, the model in 3D space. Very much like if you just picked the model up and turned it around in your hand, you can see that as I move my right hand, that I'm moving the model around just like it was held in it. Uh, in this way I can quickly move around the scene faster than I could possibly do with a mouse, and it gives me a greater range of control about what I'm working on. As I work through the uh, building this model, uh, keep in mind that I'm using touch frequently throughout the modeling process, whether I'm carving like you had seen earlier, whether I'm you know, creating curves on the surface, here I'm actually creating a curve and I can feel the model as I do it, uh, I may be creating uh, surfaces or patches which uh, stick to the model and I can use touch as a way to guide myself to create the form, and in this way I can more easily create a detailed model. So here I've just laid a patch on the model, and I've used touch to be able to locate the model easily. Now that I've explained the uh, Phantom interface and how we work in uh, using touch to build models, um, I'll start from the very beginning of the model and show you how it's built. 